in today's video i'll be talking about four rules rule number 28 which deals with vessel constrained by a draft rule number 29 that talks about pilot vessels rule number 30 that talks about anchored vessels and vessels aground and finally rule number 31 that discusses sea planes international rule 18d provides for vessels constrained by draft and attempts to favor them with regard to other vessels because of the restrictions on their movement this rule gives the special navigation lights and shape that marks a vessel constrained by draft it is clearly said that a vessel constrained by her draft may in addition to the lights prescribed for power driven vessels in rule 23 exhibit where it can best be seen three all round red lights in a vertical line at night or the shape of a cylinder during the day rule number 29 is simple and straightforward and talks about lights displayed by pilot vessels the white over red all round lights are also used as an optional display on trawlers hauling in their nets but the white over red lights in that application are used in combination with the green over white all round light display and then only when close to other fishing vessels there is very little chance then that a pilot vessel would be confused with a vessel engaged in fishing why i mention this is if you are a mariner who has uh, gone for an oral examination may be shown a rules of the road card where a vessel is displaying white over the red light be a bit mindful and do not get confused between a pilot vessel and a trawler that is hauling nets we now move on to rule number 30 rule number 30 the basic lighting requirements for anchoring are given in the first three paragraphs of rule number 30 two white lights for vessels 50 meters or more in length one light one white light for vessels less than 50 meters in length and deck lights for vessels 100 meters or more in length smaller vessels may at their option show the extra lights required for big vessels a vessel is anchored when its anchor touches bottom a vessel is no longer anchored when the anchor is lifted off the bottom. A vessel dragging its anchor is underway and therefore not anchored. A vessel fastened to a mooring is at anchor. Paragraph D tells you what lies to display when you run aground. You are not considered to be aground for purposes of the navigation rules if you have intentionally moved your vessel against the bottom or bank of a river or other body of water to hold your position if you have to keep your engines engaged to maintain your position or if you are free to move away from your holding position at any time then you are not considered to be a ground you would be underway but not making way through the water these rules also require the display of two all round red lights or three balls during the day. Paragraph E and F excuse small vessels from the display of anchor lights and shapes under certain circumstances and from the display of a ground lights and shapes. Finally, rule number 31 talks about seaplanes. Airplanes may have difficulty complying with the navigation light requirements that were written for ships airplanes of all sorts and not just seaplanes display a green side light on the right wing tip a red side light on the left and a white stern light aft most aircrafts also have provisions to make these lights blink when they are on the ground this blinking mode if available on the seaplane should not be used on the water Seaplane manufacturers often provide an all round white light on a portable mast primarily intended for use when the seaplane is anchored. The mast usually has provisions for displaying a shape. 
This mast is often difficult to mount and dismount and requires the seaplane to be stopped before mounting. In short, seaplanes in sea, air transition could not be expected to conform to the lights and shapes as closely as when they are anchored. Thanks and bye for now.